Hey guys, welcome back to the Portsmouth Road to Glory. Let's take a look at the transfer deals that we have done so far. If you've missed any episodes, then please do go back, check them out, because we've done some interesting business. Of course, the main signing was Harry Day. We brought him back to Portsmouth for just 60 million. We got very lucky. They didn't give him a very long contract. He only had one year left, so we were able to get him close to his value. We, of course, got Nkunku as well with a swap. We, we gave Everton Davies and took Nkunku with £100,000 on top, which is a bit of a weird one. Uh, Lingard, of course, we sold him to Leverkusen, 17.2 million there. We also sold Luke Thomas to Wolfsburg for 20 million. Nothing against the guy. I just couldn't get a good face mod for him, and it was kind of annoying me. Uh, of course, we've got Big Johnny going out on loan. He's going to go play in France for a season. And then we went with Martinelli. Again, a £60 million deal. I don't think he's going to take over from Cummings, but he's going to provide some competition for sure. I'm going to give him his debut in the next game against Burnley, I believe it is. I'm quite excited to see how Martinelli gets on. There's no doubt he's an incredible player. Uh, agility, acceleration, sprint speed, ball control, attack positioning, dribbling, all very high. Um... I don't know. Cummings has been here for a long, long time. He's 81 rated. He's still doing well. But I felt like there was only really one position I could improve on. And that is left wing. Having someone else other than Curtis. So um, Curtis was gone. Although he hasn't gone yet. He is, he's going to be going in this episode for sure. And Martinelli has come in. So I'm really happy with the business we've done. I don't think we need to do anything else. This is the team as it is right now. Holt is back to playing left back and he is now captain and we're going to get into the first away game of the season against Burnley. It is Burnley. And now I can reveal the other kits we will be using this season. I told you we're going kind of out there with a Larry colour. The away kit is kind of a pink camo and then the alternative kit is a very dark red almost camo again it's a really nice kit I think that's my favorite one this season we stuck with the football beyond borders sponsor I just think it looks really good next season let me know what you want to see we'll stick with adidas for another season I'm sure but tell me if there's any other sponsorships you would like on the shirt but yeah these are the three kits this season and they look incredible thanks again Liam love them so as you can see there behind Rogers, Cummings is starting this game. I will be bringing on Martinelli in the second half. I don't know if I'll play him on the left or if I'll play him up front. It could be that Cummings could move to Cam and I will try Martinelli on the left. I don't know. I've got so many different choices. I've got so many different positions that I can play these players in. And it's a good problem. I've said this before. It's a headache, isn't it? When you've got so many good players, but it's a good headache to have. You know, I want good players in every position. Two good players in every position. And I've... Okay. I've conceded already. <laughs> Who was that? P Patania. Okay. Well, I have noticed they've got Brewster in the team. He is very, very good. Yeah, I just completely avoided him, it seems. We were 1-0 down in our last game. We came back to win it. I'm sure we can do that again today. Here's Gilmore. Going to spread that over here to Kenny. Inside to Nelson. Oh, that's a, that's a lovely ball into Rodgers. Can you finish it from there? Oh, my God. This happened in the last game as well. Instant reply, and it is Rodgers. Beautiful. That is where we are so dangerous. The speed in behind. You just don't really have a chance. Look at this pass here from Nelson. It's perfectly weighted. And then smashes it across the goal. Oh, that was close. Here's Cummings. Inside to Rogers, Over the top now. Nelson's in. No way. Oh my god. Broken. Absolutely broken player. He's so damn good. It's another goal for Nelson. It was a record-breaking season for him last season. Looks like he's set to continue that this season. He just scores goals. It's not great defending there. And again, just slamming it home on that left side. We've turned this around within 15 minutes. They scored five minutes in, and it's 2 1, 20 minutes in. That's hilarious. We could punish them again here. Holt is through. I'm looking at Nelson back post. Ah, oh, that was a good tackle, in fairness, but they've given it straight back. Here's Cummings. Wait, what was that pass? Are you joking? Are you trying to get subbed off for Martinelli now? <laughs> 
I have no idea where that was going. I was looking for Saka and it just went behind him. Oh, he's not going to keep that in, surely. Okay, well, we could have done more with that. That's a little bit of a shame. It should be 3-1. Saka's got it this time. Go on, whip it in. Oh, hello. Mason, man, why are you heading that? Oh, man, that was perfect for a volley. I'm really disappointed with that. But Harry Day's got it back again. Into Mount. Over on the left side. That's not ideal. It's a poor pass from me. And now here come Burnley. Go on, win that. Nice. Saka now. Okay, cool. Let's reset this. Into Mount. Into Rogers. Here we go. I want him on his right foot. I'm going to just go for it. Oh my god, it was so close. So close. And by the way, in the last episode, remember when I discovered that Wilkes is 90 rated? I can't stop thinking about it. It's been doing my head in. I cannot believe that's happened. This game is broken. There's no way he climbed seven ratings in one season. Actually, I think it was eight. I believe when I sold him, or swapped him, I should say, with Saka... Saka was 83 or 84, and Wilkes was 82, and younger, and higher potential. You know, it, it's just, it's a bit broken, isn't it, really? But yeah, the irony of that, it's just typical. Of course, Wilkes has gone to 90 rated. Here we go, another overlap. Here we go. Will it be another goal before half time? Go on, Mount. Really don't want to be aiming for Mason Mount. Here's Gilmore now. Oh, we're not going to get that. Still, though, we've turned this game around just like we did in the first game of the Premier League season. Now we just get into the second half and do the same again. That's a good ball. And by the way, I'm not having it that Saka's not done anything for me. He has actually done a lot. He may not get all the goals and assists, but he's been superb since we signed him. So none of that, oh, you should have kept Wilkes. Saka's done nothing for you. It just isn't true. And here is Mount. Into Saka now. On his left foot if we can. That's unlucky. Don't watch that bit. Okay, because otherwise it makes me look like an idiot. <laughs> Saka's going to take this corner. Watch this assist. Here you go. What a ball that is. Uh, that's not his fault. Harry Day just hasn't got a good connection there with his header. That wasn't great. I will be bringing on Martinelli very soon. In fact, they've kicked the ball out. Maybe it's a sign. Let's go ahead and do it now. And just because I want to give this a go anyway, I'm actually going to play Mount slightly deeper. Swap that. So Cummings is going to play at Cam. And then, of course, Martinelli out on the left side. And what I'm going to do is just bring Mount forward just a little bit. It means he probably won't be defending too much. And that's a problem because I don't really have Nelson doing much defensive work. So this probably wouldn't work in the future. But why not give Cummings a go at Cam? Try Mount slightly deeper. Kind of like an Iniesta roll. And then uh, we have Martinelli on the left. See if we can pick him out straight away. There it is. Heads it onto Holt. In the box now. Oh, it wasn't a bad ball in. Well, that was a good ball in. The corner didn't work. It came back and I've just whipped it in and Rogers makes it 3-1. Is he going to get top scorer again this season? Hmm. I don't know. I think it's going to be the toughest year yet for Rogers to score most of the goals. It was close last year. We kind of caught up towards the end. That's an incredible header though. How is the defender letting him get across him like that? It's just way too easy. 3-1 and surely game over now. Wow. We scored a goal from a great delivery, but I think that one beats it. Is that Mangala? What a goal. I wasn't expecting that. It's such a good delivery. Nelson's in the middle of nowhere, but look at that for a finish. <laughs> Stefan rooted and it's 3-2 now maybe not game over it could potentially get worse if they score again we're only going to get that point they could score two there is still time it's a little bit concerning here's Martinelli first time he's going to run at the defense here hang on hang on oh that was close Pope had to get that no way there's no way I've conceded three goals today. No, I don't want to watch that. We just need to get one back. Again, we need to take the lead again. I've made two changes. I've got Noga coming in and also Will Hughes. I did that to try and secure the result, you know, and now I've conceded again. Should have maybe changed those substitutions. 
but it's okay. Hughes is a great player. He does get us going forward. Cummings into Rogers into Nelson. Please finish this. No! The number 30, Mangala. Probably going to be man of the match at this rate. Here's Rogers. Give that to him. Noga. Oh, is he going to get there? No. I'm glad I've given him the number 37 shirt again. It does suit him. Brewster's coming off. Let's throw this to Saka. Nice first touch. Nelson into Cummings. Oh, so close. I need to turn him there. You're joking me. No way. I'm absolutely speechless. How? I was 3-1 up. And now Sean Dyche and his army are winning. Wow. That is absolutely mental. I can't believe that. 3-1 up. And I effed it up. Unbelievable. Well, we're going for an equaliser now. How scary is that? We need to do something now. And I'm just giving away, giving away the ball. <laughs> Come on, Will Hughes. Get going. Oh, my God. This has just gone to absolute SHIT. Absolutely crazy, isn't it? It can happen. It happens quite a lot. That's going out. We've got one last chance here to get the ball forward. And uh, try and avoid disappointment of a draw. A draw would be a disappointment, I mean. Losing is even worse, obviously. Here's Rogers now. I couldn't even get to the ball. Unbelievable. Absolutely crazy. Here's Stengs again. He's been a pain. Days won it. What? That's a foul? In what country? What planet is that a foul? What a joke. We're not going to have time to get forward either. I can't believe it. Unbelievable. We lost to Burnley despite being 3-1 up. How the hell am I going to get Champions League football if I play like this? Well, I guess the good news is Manchester United lost as well. And I know they'll be right up there by the end of the season. So, yeah. Uh, Curtis has been sold. He had two choices. He decided not to go to Leicester. He has gone to Wolves. 17.5 million. Thank you for everything, Curtis. He is a really good player. But uh, we've improved. We have improved that position very well. Up next, funnily enough, is Arsenal. So uh, we need to get back to winning ways here. We've played three this season and we've lost one and won two. Of course, only two games in the league. The 4-0 win was a Community Shield game against Tottenham. So, yeah, we need to, we need to go against another London side and, and beat them. Come on. Both wingers today playing against their old club. I am starting Martinelli for the first time on that left side. And, of course, Saka is on the right. I'm just doing it because it's kind of a story, isn't it? You know, you've got two young players that have come from Arsenal. Now they're against Arsenal. Will they both have good games? I hope so. Cummings has been dropped. I know. I can't believe it either. This could be a good start. Ah, oh, not the greatest of passes. They've still got Bernat playing as a left midfielder, by the way. It's very strange. And their captain is Willock. So they've stuck with Willock. Here he is now. Did incredible things at Newcastle on loan in real life. Uh, I'm guessing he's done some incredible things to still be in the team here in FIFA as well. Here is Tierney. I wouldn't mind Tierney in the team, but then again, I've got Holt, you know, Captain Holt. Nice one, Kenny. Okay, let's see if we can do something now. No way. Suchek, he's going to be everywhere in midfield, isn't he? He's just so good. I think it's fascinating they don't have Wilkes in the team. Why not? A 90-rated winger and they're playing Tovan. Just makes no sense, does it? I've lost the ball again. Arsenal are so quick to get it back. Oh, you're kidding me. You are kidding me. This is not right. What is that? Don't you dare do it. Oh, the pigeon celebration. Oh, that makes me mad. Okay, well, talking of Wilkes, maybe it's a good thing they haven't played him because he could come back to haunt me today. I'm sure he'll come on as a sub. But yeah, it's very strange. Why would you play Tovan ahead of Wilkes? Really doesn't make any sense. Or at least put Wilkes on the left. You know, you're playing... Bernat's there, and I've given away the ball again. This has been awful. We've got it back. Okay, now what? Back to Saka again. Cross coming in with his right foot. That's going to be a corner. We'll take that. Do I take it short? No. We whip it in for Harry Day. Go on. Oh, oh, never mind. It's Rodgers. And that is two-headed goals in two games. Fair play to him. He can do it all. 
He can do absolutely everything. We'll definitely watch this replay. What a ball in from Saka. And the header was great as well. Completely. What's the word I'm looking for? He was unchallenged. He just jumped up. Richarlison was not bothered at all by the seat. By the... By the can't speak. By the looks of it, he didn't really care. He just thought, yeah, go for it. What I've noticed, though, Gilmore is struggling because Kessie, Suchek and Willock, they're all six foot plus, strong players. And then there's Gilmore, who's about three foot eight. You know, he's, he's definitely struggling. But here's Martinelli up against Odria Zola. God, he is quick, isn't he? He just runs better than Cummings does. Here we go. Mason Mount. Finesse. Oh, to Rogers. Oh, here's Martinelli. Surely not, right? Oh, that's a good tackle. No, it's not. It's a bad tackle and it is going to be a penalty. Now, do I give it to Martinelli? Look at him clapping. Let's see. Was this actually a foul? Yeah, it definitely is. He didn't get the ball at all. I mean, it's got to be Rogers, right? He's our best penalty kick taker. I'm going bottom left. Leno's going to go bottom right. See you later, mate. 2 1. We've turned it around. Brilliant. Will Arsenal pull one back here? Willock's on the ball. I mean, Tamori's just shut him down and said, nope, not today. And now, ball over to Martinelli. He's going to get there. Oh my god, Odria Zola, well played. I'm surprised he got that. And now here come Arsenal again. Gilmore running back. I'm better off going with Harry Day. He's quicker. Look how quick he caught up there. And that's going to be the end of the first half, please. There you go. Blow the whistle. Do you know what? I'm really happy with that. We've defended well. I know the goal they scored was a little bit cheesy. But since then, we've dominated completely. So I'm happy with this. Here we go. Rogers on a hat-trick, of course. Into Mason Mount. Oh, I tried to put Nelson through. That's okay. I'm going to be patient. But try and just, you know, get that third goal. Although, at 3-1, I'm not safe, am I? Against Burnley, for example. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I do seem to do a lot better against the bigger teams. It, it is weird. It's kind of a curse at this point. Against the uh, the not-so-great teams. The games that I'm expected to win, I always struggle. But thankfully, that was offside. Yep, see you later. Into Rogers, And it is a hat-trick. It is 3-1 as well. Okay, I promise you right now, guys, I've won this game. I'm not throwing it away now. It's impossible. It's not impossible, but it's impossible, okay? <laughs> Martinelli gets the assist. Right, I'm going to make sure I don't lose this game. And that means I will make a defensive change that's going to work a little bit better this time. And you know what? I'm going to do something I haven't done before, and that is use Backer as a DM, potentially. Or do I go with Day? Who's the better one? I, I guess Backer. He's a little bit better... Uh, with the ball at his feet, it seems. Dribbling 68. Yeah, 71 for Backer. I'm going to just try him out there. I've always wanted to give him a go there. And I think it might be time for coming soon. Should I do it now? Why not? I want to make sure I use both of them at the start here to really get a feel for who's a better fit for the team. At the moment, Martinelli has impressed me, but not. he, he hasn't completely th blown me away and thrown the idea of Cummings out the window. I still think Cummings will be a great, great player for us. So don't worry, guys. It hasn't changed anything. That's a penalty, isn't it? Oh, no. I thought it was an okay challenge. I thought I have to slide in. He's going to score. And then I guess it's gone wrong. I don't know, man. I think I got the ball. Maybe not. Doesn't matter now. Save this. Oh my god, it's happening again. It's happening again, guys. This could be bad. 3-1 up. Am I going to lose again? <laughs> no, surely not. I promised you guys. I promised you I wouldn't. So, no, we're going to be fine. By the way, backer at DM looks pretty good at the moment. I quite like it. They've just brought on Wilkes, guys. Wilkes is on the pitch now. I've removed the face mod from him, so you might not recognize him as... The Wilkes we had in my team. But he is on the pitch. And I think he's bald. He's the, he's the number nine at the bottom of your screen. He's bald for some reason. I think actually I haven't changed his face back to what it should be. So it actually, I don't know who it is. I think he's got a different head. It's my mistake. I completely forgot to change it. But here's Nelson driving forward. Play it into backer. Do you know what? 
I think we might be able to get a fourth here if we're lucky. Oh, that was close. Here's Rogers. In for a fourth himself. Oh, my God, Leno. Big save from him. I think I might... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to take this short. Uh, okay, it didn't quite work how I wanted it to. He's backer again. Go on. Oh, well, that would have been a good moment for him. A few minutes left here. We're still holding on. Win the header. Nice. Nicely done. Let's go again. The best form of defence is to attack. Just attack. Billy Gilmore! Oh. Still yet to score. A really, really outrageous goal with Billy Gilmore. And then just scream his name in that terrible accent I do. You guys know it. You probably dream of it. You can't get it out of your head after I've said it 10 times in one episode. But guys, we've beaten Arsenal. This time, I didn't throw away a 3-1 lead. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Rogers picks up the ball. Hat trick for him. And he'll be top scorer now, surely. And now it is time for deadline day. 10 hours remaining. Let's see what happens. I don't think we're going to be getting any massive offers coming in. Or if we do, I'm not going to be taking them. We've got Inter trying to sell Will Hughes. I believe I had an offer for Gilmore in the last few days as well. Yeah, there it is. I just completely ignored it because it was Tottenham. No chance, Tottenham. 48 million. <laughs> Rubbish. We're just going to block that. Um, see, look, Will Hughes, fantastic player, of course. I don't really want to get rid of him yet. Maybe next season, but for now, he's still kind of part of the team. So this is a reject, but not a block. Maybe... I should be accepting that kind of deal because it's just a crazy amount of money for a 29-year-old that's only 81 rated, but I still like him. I like him, so we're not going to do it. I, as I said, don't expect us to be doing any business because I don't want to. I, I don't feel like we need to bring in any players and I don't feel like we need to sell any players. So I'm pretty happy with the squad as it is. The top deal right now is one of my favourite players at the Euros so far, and that is, let me get this right, Isak. Isak. Yeah, my Swedish is so good. Um, 89.3 million to Man City. So that's going to be an interesting one. He will be helping them secure a top four spot for sure, right? They weren't so good last season. And actually, we play them in our next game. So let's see what happens here. Are we going to get any other offers coming in with four hours remaining? Doesn't look like it. Wow, Leicester have sold £220 million worth of players. What is that? That is absolutely ridiculous. And look at Liverpool as well. They brought in five players. Tielemans is one of them. Ginter as well. Big fan of Ginter. I think he's a very solid defender. Two hours to go. And I think we are done. Not the most exciting deadline day. But do you know what? It doesn't need to be. Over a billion was spent. We did not do anything on that final day. But we certainly contributed to that amount we spent well 140 150 million so quite a lot but of course we also sold a lot of players as well so we have been quite busy and here we are September 1st 2024 and we have Man City whilst we are in ninth place they are in seventh can I load up the table please thank you very much at the top we've got Liverpool unbeaten as well as Burnley clearly they're actually looking quite good this season after they beat us Chelsea unbeaten as well Aston Villa haven't lost Man City haven't lost and then at the bottom at the moment we've got Spurs Spurs have lost all four games I know you can't see that because of my camera hang on let me just turn it off look Spurs <laughs> that is absolutely brilliant Oh, man, I hope they get relegated. It's not going to happen, but do you know what? I'm going to take a look at their team. Let's have a look at Spurs. Why are they struggling so much? It must be just coincidence. Maybe they've had some really tough fixtures. Or is it because they've lost a load of their good players? No, they have an incredible squad. McTominay's there, Lloris, Hoiberg, Son, Kane, Bergvine. They've got a lot of high-rated players. Sommer, Sessegnon. Zaniolo's 86, Longley's 87, Carvalho 86. There's no way, no way they will be at the bottom come the end of the season. It's just, I think they've been unlucky with the games they've had. But guys, that is going to be it for this episode. It's just too hot. I don't really want to be sitting in my office all day making videos at the moment. So I'm trying to keep them just a little bit shorter while this heat wave passes. We'll be back tomorrow for another episode and I will see you then.